Hello all. Today we'll study automotive axle classification. So let's begin. Before we go into the actual classification details, let us try to first understand the functions of the axles so that we'll better understand the classification. So uh, axles are actually performing uh, three main important functions at the vehicle level. The first function they perform is as a structural member. Automotive axle is the system that is located between vehicle chassis and ground. It is attached to chassis at one end and it is grounded through wheels and tires on the other side. It carries the vehicle load. Second important function it performs is as a part of transmission system. An automotive axle is the system that is a final reduction within the automotive transmission system. And third important function that axles perform is as a part of vehicle steering system. So apart from being a structural member and transmission system part, automotive axles are also part of vehicle steering system, particularly when these axles are front axles. So uh, considering above mentioned functions of axles, one of the below points is true for any axle. So point number one, every axle is always a structural member of the vehicle. Point number two, in some cases, in addition to be a structural member, it is also a part of transmission system. Third point, in some cases, in addition to be a structural member, it is also part of steering system. And fourth point, in some cases, in addition to be a structural member, it is also a part of transmission system as well as steering system at the same time. So any axle at given point of time will perform either of the duties that are listed here in point number one, two, three, and four. So let us understand the axle classification at the broader level. At the broader level, they are classified roughly into six categories. First category is according to power transmission. So according to power transmission criteria, axles are divided into two groups as a live axle or dead axle. According to steerability, according to steerability, they are divided as steerable and non-steerable axle. According to axle arrangement, they are either single, tandem, or tridum or multi axles. Then, according to axle shaft and housing arrangement criteria, they are divided into three categories mainly semi float, full float, and three quarter float. Then, according to assembly construction, the axles are divided into roughly three categories they are split type, banjo type, and carrier type or Salisbury type. And according to number of speeds, they are divided into single speed and two speed. So let us go into the details of each category of this classification. So according to the power transmission, they are categorized as dead axle or live axle. Here, as you can see in this picture, this is the dead axle, which is typically a beam which is having the provision to attach it to the chassis at these points. And these are the brake drums on which the wheels and tires will get mounted and it will be grounded. So this just carries the load. So as you can see here, it is a structural member only. On the right side, you can see a live axle. Live axle is a structural member as well as it is part of the transmission system. 
So here you can see there is a differential gearbox through which the power is transmitted to left side or right side wheels. So let us move on into the next category. The next category is classification according to steerability. So the axles are classified as a steerable axle or non-steerable axle. Now here the example that particularly you see on the screen for the steerable axle falls at the same time under three categories. It is a structural member. It is also a part of transmission system. As you can see here, there is a differential gearbox at the center of the axle and it is a part of steering system as well. So there are the steering system knuckles and tie rods on this axle. On the right side, you can see this is the non-steerable axle. So this particular axle is a part of structural member and as a part of transmission system. Let us move on. So the another uh, type of axle which is steerable but it is steerable and it is part of structural member only. These do not contain any differential gearbox at the center. So it's a dead axle, but it is a structural member and part of steering system. So let's move on to the next category. Next category is the classification according to axle arrangement. So there is a single live axle. This is again a part of structural member and part of transmission system. On the right side, you can see two axles arranged one behind another. So this arrangement is called a tandem live axle arrangement. These axles are also the part of structural member and part of transmission system. Then the next is tridem live axle arrangement. There are three live axles arranged one by one. There can be actually four or five that will depend upon the vehicle application. So these axles are also the part of structural member and part of transmission system. One may come across the question that why there are such multiple axles arranged one behind another. The simple answer to this question is that they are used when amount of power to be transmitted is large enough and size of single axle becomes too large. Then such large power is distributed among a series of axles through power divider and they are used in series. So uh, friends, uh, that's all for uh, today. For another categories of axles, uh, we'll go through uh, another video. Thank you.